when I was diagnosed with HIV, I was extremely scared. I was extremely scared I was going to die. I was extremely scared about what are the, about these medications I'm going to take, what's my employer going to do, what's my family going to think, all of that type of thing. And the reality is, is that when we deal with our fear, when we go through our fear, we can conquer that fear. Like, there's 42 million people living with HIV worldwide. Where are they? And I wanted to know who are these people? What do they look like? And I couldn't find them. And so it was, by the end of that year, that's when I started the Hughes Foundation. And that's when I decided I'm not going to let these statistics make, stop me from living. And so I started living. And since then, I've gone, gone around the world. I really want to come, come, come across loud and clear is to love yourself. Even if your parents don't love you, your family, love yourself. Because there's a plan and there's a purpose for your life, no matter where you're at or what it looks like, there's a plan, there's a purpose, and it starts with you. People can identify with my story. We, it, it, stories need to be told in life. Whatever someone's going through, uh, you, you are lovable, you are beautiful, and, and you have a purpose in life. But it's important for people who are living with HIV and diagnosed with HIV not to succumb to fear. Because when you do, you're paralyzed. Mm -hmm. And life is, in essence, over for you. And so it's important for us who are living with HIV to continue on. I think our words have the power of life or death. There's power in what we say. And what I was saying that day was that HIV doesn't define who you are. It hasn't defined who I am. It's just something I live with. It doesn't define who I am. And so this guy heard this and was like, well, dang, this is I was just tested positive. If he can do it, I can do it. And he didn't commit suicide. That, that's success. That's, that is success. That's, that's powerful when, when you can see that. Yeah. It's, it makes everything you've gone through worth it. Every struggle I've gone through is worth it for that. That, if I die tomorrow, I die a happy man. That, that, there's nothing else you need, you know? You're not defined by your disease. You're defined by who you are, by the wonderful person that you are. And, and, and life does continue. And if you're sitting there and you're not living with HIV, I want to encourage each of you today to go out, volunteer at an orphanage, volunteer at a hospital. Let people know who are living with HIV that you love them, that you care, because it does take a village to conquer this issue. Mm -hmm.